and a warm welcome to the program. I'm Melinda Akinlami, coming up today. Desire Lines, a group exhibition at Affinity Art Gallery in Lagos. Then, The Heart of Art, an exhibition at the LVI Art Gallery and Cultural Nexus. This and more after we hear from our wordsmith for this week. Our wordsmith for this week is titled Arewa by Israel Tamzi. She is more than light, like the air eases our plight. The look in her eyes is always so dreamy. Her beauty defined the name itself. The beauty in her eyes, a glow that shines. Like the sunrise, her smile opens up the cloudy skies. Her laughter, delights butterflies. It's safe to say the universe skipped a breath for the ultimate beauty. And in company with tons of women, she sings praises in the marketplace. She is the mother of a million children, yet gave us Arewa, the loyal catalyst of our number strength, the safety sea through which our ancestors returned to life. Kudos to the doc, flowers to the mum, kudos to the philanthropist legend who bequeathed Arewa to human race. Kudos to the stethoscope, bravo to the needle, a thousand shots to the women folk who labor in pain for future grains. She shall be called Arewa. Her astonishing beauty matches her rare toned body, her sonorous voice, a rarity that complements her gorgeous Ibadi. Arewa, a superb intelligent quotient with a mind excellent beyond length, her brilliance never seen, her majesty, a gift from God with a touch that resonates and smiles that echo the heart, her beauty so indescribable. The half you see is one part, the other half is the greatest, that is the beauty. Within her heart, the love she gives without question is the best gift she could ever bestow. Arewa, beauty unspoken. Now let's begin by showing you this exhibition by a group of artists. Exploring new paths and conquering territories is what a group of artists are capturing in desire lines at the Affinity Art Gallery in Lagos, an initiative which began from hundreds of applications. It's basically about the road not taken. So the four artists who are um, in this exhibition were selected from an open call for emerging African artists that the gallery made at the beginning of the year. And so we selected Emmanuel Adeyemi, Rosin Labazaki, Lawrence Meiju, and a South African artist called Tsukani Maeza. And their works, the body of works in this exhibition basically speak to thinking and creating outside of the mainstream mindsets and outside of the, outside of the box. And so desire lines are pathways that are made away from the main path. So it's like diverting away from where everyone else is going. So this is kind of what that exhibition is exploring, that concept. today is showing some artists in Nigeria here based in Lagos. I happen to be one of them and I'm showing my works based on human consciousness, how we relate to our environment, 
how we interact with ourselves as humans too. And basically how we just live amongst ourselves and how we can just release better and form a better union amongst ourselves as humans. So that is what I'm projecting with my own works. Besides Emmanuel Adeyemi, the other artists are Lawrence Meju, Rosaline Labasaki, and Tutukani Mieza, who are bringing their different concepts, techniques, and inspiration to this whole. These are all paperworks, and my conception, extra normal portraits, what I call it, is has to do with me reducing the human form into simple organic shapes and presenting some ideas. So it's like I'm using, I believe that I can reduce things into very simple forms to present any idea, do you understand? And this particular body of work is titled Headlines. So it's quite indicative of my space at the time because I journal a bit, so I call it, I like to think of it as a visual journal, all these pieces. So it's quite indicative of my mindscape at the time and those of my friends and family. So I'm channeling them into these pieces as well as myself into these pieces. My work centers on African woman dignity, self-love, being courageous and determined to be intentional about making decisions, about doing things and every other aspect of life. So the message I'm trying to pass is to young ladies, women and every youth, every other person to be courageous. You can make decisions, we can be intentional, setting targets, setting things and working towards them in life. Be intentional about everything. The time frame of creating my works is, it, it varies, it depends on the size and, and the message I'm trying to pass across. There are some messages that requires more subjects which I have to like paint more subjects of course, which takes more time. So if I'm dealing with just two subjects or some subtle backgrounds or environments, it takes me about a week to just make them or sometimes three days or four. But it's all, it's all, it's all because I've been working for years, I've been creating these things for like five years and the consistency has made me accelerate my speed too. So it's more of like I can do more work in less period of time due to the fact that I've been consistent with my practice. For some of them, navigating the Nigerian art road is a huge drive as he had to keep thinking of novel ways to make something out of nothing due to the cost of art materials while putting the spotlight on issues people take for granted. I use um, found objects for my works. So I recycle basically. I take, basically I use um, foam as my primary material, but I still combine with some other found materials like nylon and some polystyrene materials too. That's some frames chips. So I collect them from, from where they are being discarded and I just revamp them and turn them to art box. So that is what I'm exhibiting. Some of them I'm exhibiting here in this premises right now. So I'm very impressed by these artists. Um, because you know, there's a lot of talk about Gen Z and you know, their work ethic and everything, because these are young artists, right? But I think these group of artists, they are very disciplined, very talented, and it's clear that they have a future in this art industry. This has left an impression on the minds of the audience. They are lovely, beautiful works from lovely artists, creative-minded individuals. They are doing incredibly well. 
the works you see here today, outstanding and mind-blowing. You understand? So they are representations to quality. I see a brighter um, Nigeria in five years' time. The Affinity Art Gallery has been creating platforms, especially for young creatives, to tell African stories and show how they've been able to create new pathways. Taking a moment now on the program, When Art House Returns, Your Works of Art and much more. Join us again. And these are the works of art you sent in this week. Let's start from this one done by Yomi Awobusui. It's called Her Cheerleaders from the Jewel and Loyalty series. It's done with acrylic on canvas. Then Future Present is done by Lucas Kumba with Mix Media. Daniel Issa has Longing for Warmth, an acrylic on board piece. While this ballpoint pen drawing on paper is called The Afro Lady by Ikom Oga. Then this mixed media work called Jehovah Ra is done by Omodanwe. Chike Anayo is celebrating womanhood with this acrylic on canvas piece. While Osime Gostan is showing us his Red Scarf series done with acrylic on canvas. And this oil on canvas work of art is done by Talented Diary. It's called Black Pride. Then we have a digital painting called On Lockdown, done by Jeffrey Daniels. This acrylic on canvas work is titled Memories by Dumbo Dabe. And finally, we have Identity, an oil on canvas piece done by Aziz. He's paying tribute to the veteran female painter Nike David Okundaye. Concludes the works of art you sent in this week. We appreciate you for always sending them in and encourage you to put the relevant information beside that work of art. I always arrange exhibitions for women so they will be able to sell their work, not just do the work. Decorative sculptural pieces are part of the welcome party, neatly arranged outside, waiting to greet the visitors who have come to have a feel of this new area of the LVI Art Gallery and Cultural Nexus Lagos.
inside, there's more. But it's a mix of colors, from painting to metal, iron and wood pieces in all shapes and sizes. Then a touch of cultural elements, which add to the aesthetic appeal in this space for its opening exhibition titled, The Heart of Art. of art is our new concept in art to push and promote art from this our location in Lekki phase one for tourism art visits artwork commissioning artwork sales and for every artwork purchase we are doing free delivery within Lagos we are pushing art from here so we call it the heart of art Promote contemporary Nigerian artists. We have the young and upcoming artists. We have the established artists. We have different classes of artists here because we have art for every level and artists of every level. That's our art promotion and collection. Um, so we push art from artists that have studied art in any form. You have an OND. You have an HND, you have your BA in art, but you have studied arts, you understand the academic functionality of art, adding with your giftings and your own expressions. gallery is still keeping with its mandate of giving the audience a visual narrative of arts and culture. We have artworks of different medium. We have oil on canvas, a lot. We have metal works of different mediums, junk arts on, uh, from different mediums. We have woodworks of different mediums. We have ebony, we have mahogany, we have different woodworks. Um, we have some works from fiberglass. We have crafts here. We have our beautiful talking drum here. We have a, a very wonderful saxophone, handcrafted, metal works outside. So we have different mediums, every form of medium. We have watercolor on paper, a pencil on paper, acrylic on paper, woodworks on paper. It's keeping business within this space by ensuring there are in-house artists ready to bring the vision of any impending collector to life. While framing the pieces are also done here, samples are placed in the exhibition hall. We have three strong flexibilities. Number one, you come, you buy an artwork here, and you don't like the frame, we'll change it for you at no cost because we are frame makers. Provided we have whatever you have in our collection, we'll change it for you at no cost. So because it's all about the art and about the customer satisfaction, we want you to get the art and be happy with what you have gotten. the store of culture and imprint of time. The junk art we are making today represent this generation. We have artworks by generation because art will evolve, but it will still be art. The evolution of art would make me say, oh, this art was done in the 1950s, 1960s, 1970s, 1980s, 2000. This is the art was done in 2050. Every artwork here will leave me. But your television will become old model. Your car will become old model. The only thing that would leave you and see how value will be your artworks.
This is the first exhibition in this new contemporary art space as collectors look forward to engaging this breath of fresh air. And for what to look forward to the next time you tune in, take a look. Coming up on the next edition of the program. Landscapes of the Soul, an exhibition by veteran professor Jerry Buhari at the Co Gallery in Lagos. When, when I was thinking about this whole idea of landscapes, I was actually, in this exhibition, I was bringing together every experience of landscape that I've gone through. In another part of the metropolis, we behold the collections in the Team and Carol Gallery of Art. We encourage you to keep liking, sharing and viewing our page so more people can enjoy the ever bubbly and ingenious art scene in the country. Your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. The curtain falls on this week's episode, but the conversation continues online. Just go to any of our platforms. You can also view this and other episodes of the program by going to our YouTube page. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Stay safe and keep being creative.